要送给各位一个精彩的魔术，哎，这会儿你们不用找董卿了，青年换我了，给大家介绍魔术师 Eve。嗨，大家好，我是 Eve， 今年是猴年，你有没有想过，跟悟空一样拔一根汗毛，想要什么，哇，就变什么。孙悟空上来先变筷子，看来是饿了，<笑>是有点肚子饿了，因为刚刚看到我姥姥包的饺子，这个全世界。最好吃的饺子，多么想去直接在这里直接夹一个，有有，夹一个饺子，哇，尝尝看，小心烫。今天在这个时刻，朋友圈非常热闹，每个人都在发一些拜年的照片，像这个朋友就发一张可爱的小猴子，嗯，小猴子手上还拿着，这应该是一个，是魔方，应该说，应该说，照片这样看更清楚，哇。你这派的还自带打印机的，你有淘气眼，你看照片这个位置。等会儿，等会儿，等会儿，你这个照片画风很怪，这是个什么？硬币。这个硬币确实怪怪的，拿出来好了。确定是真的硬币，不光硬币，不光硬币。想象在这个位置，想象在这个位置，魔方也慢慢的变立体，慢慢的从平面哇变成真的魔方。这是真的魔方有什么呀？你这是啊！小三，你的魔方技巧怎么样？哼，你算是碰到高手。我打乱魔方，世界一流。我打乱过的魔方，连厂家都还原不了。那你可以还原它吗？还原魔方这么简单的事情，我不会。还是我来好了，自己看，单手，单手。太嚣张了吧，你这个。啊，不是，来，谢谢小三哥夸奖，这一块钱送给你当压岁钱，一块钱压岁钱这么折腾我，不要小看这一元，一元象征的一元复始，万象更新，更要祝大家大吉大利，在新的一年平平安安，这是真的吗？你敢吃吗？董卿告诉我，千万不要随便吃魔术师给的东西，所以呵呵我偏要试试。<笑>我看小撒真的饿了，这里还有味道更好的巧克力。我天！我喜欢这个节目，不光能吃，还能拿。<笑>小撒，请跟我来，更有趣的还在后面。我这里有准备一些东西，让我们来一起迎接新年吧。明白了，你这是要写福字笔、墨、纸。你没有砚台，这个就是我的砚台。玻璃杯啊，磨墨需要一点水。来，小撒，喝喝看，确定是真的水？我已经很饱了。<笑>魔术师磨墨有特殊的方式。墨，水，嗯哼，仔细看，墨就在这个位置。哇，小撒，喝看，确定是真的墨水？我刚才喝的是不是就这个东西啊？你现在已经一肚子墨水了。我谢谢你。啊，可以写了吗？现在？好的。其实我不太懂书法，但我喜欢毛笔字，喜欢那种心无旁骛、信马由缰的感觉。磨墨沾纸，一管在握，气势不错，挺唬人的。静<笑>气凝神，落笔很重要啊。来去，有心。哇呜！哇哦！我的天！这是这毛笔还有全自动模式的？是传说中的智能毛笔吗？好，学书法的孩子们，你们有福了。可惜我小时候没碰上了。哈哈哈。
别说这自动的写出来，还真是像模像样的。行道，易道，嘿，笔道，好，这这什么字啊？这是，这是倒过来写的，家啊，对，道家。道家我觉得你这个秘密一定是在这这支笔里边，能不能让我们看一下？笔？对。敢不敢让我拆开了看一看？不要吧。大家说要不要看？你没有退路。会尴尬。我你尴尬了，我就胜利了。<笑>怎么看？你把它拆开。你看我说吧，能拆开。你这么痛快把笔头给我，一定问题不在这儿。我要看笔杆，敢不敢？你自己打开。我拆了啊。对自己打开。我要告诉大家，真相、秘密其实写在里面。真相、蛋卷、蛋卷。还是笔头，喂，还是笔头，这位猜对了，对吧？这支笔之所以会动，因为它承载了生命。哇，真是生命孕育着希望，希望带着我们走向远方。但是无论多远，我们都不会忘了回家的路。是的，倔鸟归巢。落叶归根，让我们回家吧。你只是在用你的眼睛在看待事物，用这个世界的知识体系去了解一切事物。你是否曾经试着用自己的 sense 知识去感觉事物？什么是 A 扫四机器？每片叶子，每粒石子，甚至现在出来的这股风，我们周围的一切都充满着 A 扫四机器。只要换个角度看待事物，你就会发现，你要的答案一直都在你身边。The spiritualist movement started in 1848. To prove that spirits are real, mediums would try and communicate with them, and they would communicate back by writing messages. Melanie, open your eyes with your left hand. Point to where it felt like something touched you. Your right shoulder. How many times did you feel it? Twice. You felt it twice. And this is an important thing to say: that you did that without a gimmick. You did that with real magic and real thought. And there's people who do that same trick with a gimmick. We don't like it as much. You did that with real magic and real thought, just the way the spiritualists did it. Real magic. Real magic.
薬は僕取ってそのまんまドリンクを出しますステイシーラーメン OK レッツゴー行こう行こう行こう戻ろう戻ろう,戻ろう自動販売機で買った缶ジュースで何をしようというのかスタジオに戻り全員を前に集めるでは今から実は大マジックルールをブレイクします、うん、これからこの缶の中に入れます、yes. なんで僕は500円玉を依頼したかと言いますと、うん、見てください蓋開けても入りませんなるほど入りそうなんですこう名前をアルファベットで大文字で書いてもらいましょう大文字で、ね、はいどうぞ同様に和樹にも名前を書いてもらうこれでさやさんの名前が片方にあります、はい、裏には僕の名前がありますはい、ここですはいえー軽く僕に押してください軽く僕の方に押してください1ワンツーあっほらほらちょっとスペース空けてちょっとスペース空けて。間違いないですよね。間違いないですよね。でも多分まだリアクションがないのは一つの理由です。この五百円玉に和樹のサインは書かれているのか。ここにちゃんと名前が書いてあるか確かめましょう。可愛い。可愛い。ギョキンギョキン。可愛い。これはフィッシュフィッシュ That's correct じゃあ皆さん合わせて全部言ってみましょうフィッシュボール Very good じゃあ皆さんお見せしたいのがあります Watch carefully 一体何を見せるというのかスケッチブックを椅子の上に置くもう一回皆さん言ってください Go! フィッシュボールもう一度改めて言いましょう。フィッシュボール。サンキュー、ありがとう。しかし、ゼロのサプライズは終わらない。さあ、今日一人にプレゼントします。金魚をプレゼントするという。美穂さんにプレゼントします。その前にお願いあります。名前をつけてあげてください。Yes, a name, 名前。なんか一つ好きな名前。じゃバニラで。バニラ。バニラ。Do you like that? その名前。Oh shit! Oh my god! Sorry. バニラ。いたいたいた。バニラ。バニラ、come here, come here, come here, come here. Water. Water, water, water. Water, water. Water, water. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wait, wait, wait. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Yeah, it's okay. Stay there, Vanilla. Stay there, Vanilla. Okay. Let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. ちょっと入んないよね。入んないよね。そんな上に。Come on, come on. 
Vanilla. Please take care of Vanilla. そのカードを1枚選ばせ。それに名前を書かせるゼロ。グレイ。これを書いたことによってまず真ん中に埋めていきます。オッケー。これからちょっと面白い方法。You <笑>取れない。自分のカードにも。見てください。このナプキンでどうなるかわかります。窓は綺麗になります。実は窓が綺麗になるだけではなく実は擦るとガラスが柔らかくなってきます。ガラスが柔らかくなるとは一体どういうことなのか。一見すると普通の硬いガラスにしか見えない。ガラスが柔らかくなるとは一体どういうこと
ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。もう皆さんわかりました。え、え、そうそうそうそうそう。わあ。まるで時は遡るかのように、オレンジからレモン、玉ねぎ、そして店のインコを出した。In this clip, a woman selects a card and places it among other cards in a life raft ring in a pool. Cyril then does a bungee jump from an extremely high area holding a sword. As he comes down, he stabs the card the woman selected and gives it to her. <laughs> In the following clip, Cyril appears to change water into ice. Like many other magicians, Cyril has also worn shirts with skulls. Cyril also embraces religious indifferentism and he says differences are precious. It reminded me of all of our differences and how precious those differences truly are. Another wonderful day here in Rio. Until next time, love, peace, and happiness. In reviewing footage from the top magicians in the world, one discovers that they perform many of the same kinds of false miracles. This includes various magicians putting their bodies in positions in which they should fall over, but they don't. A spirit must be assisting them in order for them to do this. This is brilliant. Now just slowly let go. And step back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. amazing In this false miracle, Cyril makes a card someone selected come out of the deck and stick to the window. He also puts it on the other side of the window. This is another top rank magician who wears a skull on his shirt. His name is Franklin Saint. He has done things like bending objects without touching them. I'm not a hokey magician. I'm not pulling rabbits out of hats. There's no smoke and mirrors. I'm presenting something that defies logic 
defies the laws of nature. That's crazy. I'm not using any type of gimmicks or props. I focus more on my energy. And he has said that it demonstrates supernatural ability. Wondering if you took the red pill or the blue pill, and that was an open thing, and now it's totally closed. Oh wow, yeah, and it was bent, and then he unbent it. Yes, that was supernatural. No gimmicks, no smoke and mirrors. After one of his performances, Franklin said, quote, I felt good. The energy was surging through my veins. I go. I felt good. You yeah. felt good? Yeah, I felt good. The energy was surging through my veins. I Former 33rd degree Freemason Manly P. Hall made a similar statement about energy surging through the hands. Hall said, quote, when the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands, and before he may step onward and upward, he must prove his ability to properly apply energy. It's interesting that Hall uses the term dynamo. Dynamo happens to be the name used by Europe's most popular magician. But you know, being a true magician, a true dynamo, I use it to my advantage. Hall says that when a person has learned the proper application of the dynamo of living power, the seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. Dynamo burned an image of his right hand into a display case at a store as people watched. All right, do me a favor, hold your hands up like this. Um, just tell me if you feel the heat. Yeah. On numerous occasions, Dynamo has put solid objects right through his body. Yeah, I'm still shy. In this clip, Dynamo asks a man to think of a music performer. Dynamo then changes the color of his shirt from red to black, imprinting an image of the music performer he was thinking of on the front of his shirt. Thinking of an artist like right now, mm. music artist. Watch. <laughs> Where's the red shirt though? Oh, I Go on. Go on. <laughs> I'll give him another shuffle first. There we go. And what I'll do is I'm going to run my uh, my thumb down the side like this. Just say stop whenever okay. you like. Stop. Right there? Right there. Sure? That's yeah. good. Take the card. I'll turn around so I can't see it. Don't let him... Uh, show it to everybody. And yeah. Don't let me see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, right? Okay, cool, cool. I've seen it. I've seen it. Have you seen it? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, keep okay, holding cool. it. Don't let me see it. Hold it to your chest so I can't see it, right? Okay. Um, now... The sun has come out, it's amazing out here yeah, right now. Beautiful. But I feel a little bit uh, overdressed, I'm wearing all black, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. So j just give me one second, um, I want to I find this card, but South Africa style. Okay. South Africa yeah? style? Okay. Yeah, like this, what? And what? Whoa! 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 Come on! <laughs> come on! That was a normal shit. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Dynamo does many things including bending his fingers in ways that are impossible without supernatural assistance. <laughs> Stephen Frain, known to the world as the magician Dynamo, started practicing magic at around the age of 12. He put some cards on a pool table and they just miraculously opened like it was some evil wizard they just sprung open like that and then my card flipped out if he can do stuff like that it's not right is it eh? 
It was Dynamo's quote grandfather who advised him to learn magic as a way to protect himself from being bullied. I suppose the biggest influence I have comes from my grandpa. He wasn't a magician as such, he was just he was a bit of a hustler. He's got this northern swagger which I think I've kind of picked up in the years. You know, we both have this mentality, you know, being from Yorkshire, but you don't get out for now. You know, we kind of use our hustle to get where we want to be and get what we need in life. Dynamo's grandmother broke up with his biological grandfather and Dynamo began to call the man she started to live with his grandfather. His quote grandfather showed him some magic. In his book Nothing is Impossible Dynamo said that after seeing one magic trick it felt like he had quote fallen under a spell. So um, did your grandpa himself, um, was he a magician? Did he do magic himself and go and show people? Or... Yeah he was, I wouldn't say he was a magician, he was more like a bit of a con artist, hustler, he, he... <laughs> Dynamo now has a tattoo of his quote grandfather on his neck and calls him his role model. His quote grandfather died a few years ago. Without him, without that support, I probably would have never been doing what I'm doing today. So I got a big respect for my grandpa and, you know, I actually have grandpa tattooed on my neck. After Dynamo started to show people at his school his new magic skills, he began to be accepted by his classmates. Dynamo said, quote, girls who had previously ignored me began to pay me some attention. It seemed the magic gave me the edge I'd been craving. I drank in the scene. I was popular for the first time in my life and that was an incredible feeling. I immersed myself in magic. I read every book I could get my hands on and practiced and practiced day after day and night after night. Magic literally became my world. In this interview Dynamo said that magic quote gave me the power to bring people to me. It gave me an edge, something to make me unique. The only reason I stood out before was being the smallest kid in school. In another interview Dynamo said quote magic became the one thing in life I could depend on. The one thing that would never let me down. Notice that Dynamo says magic not God was the one thing that would never let him down. A very telling statement. Jesus says quote and you shall love the Lord thy God with your whole heart and with your whole soul and with your whole mind and with your whole strength. This is the first commandment. Dynamo speaking of magic said quote you've got to put your heart and soul into it if you want to succeed at this game. Since the age of 12 magic had been my life. It was all I'd thought about all day every day. Speaking of other magicians in his book Dynamo says quote after Robert Houdin came the almighty Harry Houdini. To call a magician almighty is a blasphemy against God. Dynamo started his professional career in magic by working in clubs and bars in the UK. In the same interview mentioned earlier Dynamo also talked about his friends. He said that they were into hip hop and were making DVDs of rapping and breakdancing. Dynamo said quote I thought I want to do what they're doing but with magic. The article then speaks of how Dynamo had a stomach abscess in which he had to spend six months in a hospital. Dynamo said quote I had a lot of time on my hands. I realized in there that if I had died, what would people remember me for? My magic was the one thing that would leave me a legacy. Dynamo quote if I had died who would remember my name? What memorable things had I done in my life? I could have died a few days before and it struck me that if the worst had happened that would be it. I'd have my friends and family at my funeral but who else would care? What mark had I made on the world? Suddenly a fierce determination roared inside me. I could either languish in this hospital bed or I could use this opportunity to do something, something big. I knew there and then that I had to make my mark before it was too late. Dynamo started suffering from Crohn's disease at the age of 13. Years later his situation got so bad that half of his stomach had to be removed. One of the kind of setbacks that I got when I was growing up was I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was about 14, 15 years old, which ended up putting me in hospital for six months. And in that time, I nearly died. And that was the moment when I decided that when I get out of hospital, 
I want to do something to leave a legacy because if I'd have died in hospital then, what would people remember me for? Most likely that kid who got bullied at school. I decided I'm going to do whatever it is, whatever it takes to make a career in magic. You know, and I suppose that was probably the birth of Dynamo. When I was about 19 years old, that's when I really thought, you know, I had an idea that could actually potentially, you know, put me on a world stage. And I kind of put together this whole master plan. Dynamo said that he thought he might die. He has also openly said that he wanted to become famous and remembered throughout the world for magic. As previously mentioned, Dynamo started practicing magic at around the age of 12. After doing magic for some time, Dynamo probably came to realize that there were spirits or supernatural forces assisting him with his magic. I believe he came to understand that the devil was the one helping. Since he wanted to be famous in the world, I believe Dynamo decided to completely submit himself to the devil to get what he wanted. Here's an interesting clip from a man who said he heard that Dynamo worshipped the devil. But he had some sort of uh, difficulty in his life and um, he said that, um, I mean, this guy obviously met Dynamo, I'm assuming, and he said, uh, or he, he knew, he knew people who knew Dynamo and he said yeah. that Dynamo basically said to whoever that, um, you know, he's going to, I guess his situation was so bad, Dynamo's situation was so bad that he really, he, his life sort of flashed in front of him. So he, he kind of said that, he said to people around him that, you know, I'm going to make something of myself, you know, see in a few weeks or few months, I'm going to be famous worldwide or whatever, you know, just kind of bigging himself up a bit, you know, um, saying that, you know, trying to basically hype by himself hype, and yeah, come back, you know, plan big bigger, things yeah. in the near future. And so he said that basically, I don't know how people have this got out, but he said that Dynamo either told people or people kind of um, observed it by Dynamo apparently. I, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but he said that he um, uh, like went to live in the woods for a week, like uh, secluded himself and started worshipping the devil or worship something within the woods. And um, I don't know, he just kind of just submitted, submitted himself or something like that for a week or a month. I'm not sure exactly. And then when he came back, his career obviously blew up, apparently. But um, that's, happening. yeah, pretty much it. So basically, the, yeah, he he's went to the woods, started devil worship or something, and he came back out and so you became think a he's, big he's, megastar. No, but he, oh, he, okay, he, he kept okay. talking about it. He was like, oh, you know, Dynamo said that he worshipped the devil. And, um, you know, he said that he was going to become a success. And he did after, after coming out of the seclusion period. So, so he went in the woods. Yeah, he said he apparently stayed in the woods or secluded himself somewhere in the woods. And again, this is not something that I, ver I can verify. It's not my information. It's not. So it's not meant to defame anyone or whatever. Yeah, it's just something that I've heard. Well, I'm not sure if it's true. It could be fake. I mean, I, I mean, See, Dynamo, is, Dynamo is. I mean, some of his tricks do seem like pretty unexplainable. Yeah. And but I'm but I'm not the kind of guy that you know. I'm I'm a pretty skeptical guy. I like to question everything a lot. This is a magician who openly states on his YouTube channel that he makes contracts with different demons for special powers. The demonic circle, a symbol of great power, used through most of my career as a black magician. And I have the symbols of the various pacts that I've made with demons throughout my workings as I have walked my own path of embracing the darkness. Now, Lucifer Dropakal is one of those shadowy figures in occult lore who intrigues and confuses at the same time. Lucifuge appears in the Grand Grimoire as not just a demon to make a pact with, but as the demon to call when you're going to make a pact. I've heard the name Lucifuge several times. Not once has he ever been spoken of lightly or happily, but always in whispers and followed by warnings. Do not work with this demon. He's too powerful, too evil, too hot for any magician to handle. Of course, such words of warning have always served to stimulate my interest even more. And so, I began to work with this demon. 33rd degree Freemason Manly P. Hall admitted that throughout history magicians have sold their souls to the devil, and in return they receive special powers during their short time on earth. 
In his book, The Secret Teachings of All Ages, Hall said about magicians, quote, by means of the secret processes of ceremonial magic, it is possible to contact these invisible creatures and gain their help in some human undertaking. It is possible to make contracts with spirits whereby the magician becomes for a stipulated time the master of an elemental being. True black magic is performed with the aid of a demoniacal spirit who serves the sorcerer for the length of his earthly life with the understanding that after death the magician shall become the servant of his own demon. For this reason a black magician will go to inconceivable ends to prolong his physical life, since there is nothing for him beyond the grave. A man will barter his eternal soul for temporal power and down through the ages a mysterious process has been evolved, which actually enables him to make this exchange. I believe this is what happened with Dynamo. This is the real secret to his sudden success. They say a magician should never reveal his secrets. But sometimes the secret is where the magic lies. Oh. Dynamo is the yeah. devil! You're the devil! <laughs> this is a Fiat Auto commercial officially called, quote, Dynamo Unleashing the Power of X. Dynamo stands in front of a black box and begins to open it. Interestingly, in Greek mythology there is a box called Pandora's Box which contained all the world's evils. Is Dynamo opening a symbolic Pandora's Box? Change perspective. Our true potential is unleashed. Are you ready to see the world in a new light? Dynamo probably figured out that the fastest and easiest way to rise to the top of the world in magic is to give himself completely to the devil. In one way or another, I believe he did that, and in return, he might be the fastest growing magician in the world. In this next clip, Dynamo says, quote, talk of a devil and he will appear. Talk of a devil and he will appear. Right after he says this, Dynamo appears in front of a group of women sitting at a table. He seems to be referring to himself as a devil. Dynamo asks his grandmother if she is coming to his show. She says yes, and he responds, wicked. Right. You can come to the show as well, Mama. Oh, definitely, yes, definitely. If God spares me, I'll be there. <laughs> wicked. All right, we'll see you then. Some might find it difficult to believe that Dynamo would worship or submit himself to the devil for fame, fortune, or special abilities. So now, now that we warmed up a little bit, I want to show you how to win the lottery. It's a technique I use that I call, um, cheating. But consider that he is a complete pagan and completely accepts all kinds of grave sins. So if you are homosexual out there and you're afraid of coming out, don't be afraid, because we'll welcome you with all open arms, won't we? Because we've all got loving in our, in our hearts. Yeah. 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 Don't matter what creed, flavour, anything you are, we're all humans and we're in this together. Because Keith... Together. On this particular evening, we were on our way to a nightclub. When we were younger, it was always tough getting into places. The bouncers would always hassle us, and I used to perform just to get us through the door. Now, things are different. You can get grown men brought to tears, but then on the other extreme, you can get women fainting. Sometimes you get women throwing themselves at me, you know. And cool. Right now the platform is tiny tempo. It's fun by amateur people. Worldwide, it's global, that's how we do it. Do you ever use your powers for evil, i.e. seducing women? I don't really think I need to use my magic to no. seduce the women. I think I might do alright. 
women like the magic, I like the women. Um, we're gonna go to the big smoke on London. You know it. You bought the condoms? Yeah. yeah. I'm in the studio of Ian Brown, yeah? Absolute legend. He's seen everything. He's lived it, you know, the life of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. You're in Miami, though, right? It's awesome. Like, you know, in England right now, mm -hmm. it's raining. Yeah. There's no girls walking around in bikinis. Dynamo, quote, you can have the best time of your life in L.A. One minute you can be chilling by a hotel pool surrounded by superstars. The next, you're averting your eyes as half-naked ladies run about at pool parties. It's a ridiculous city in many ways and I absolutely love it. The craziest parties every night and my feet barely touched the ground as I went from one glamorous party to the next. Also consider the statements already covered in which Dynamo openly admits that his goal in life was to become famous through magic. When I got out of hospital, I want to do something to leave a legacy because if I'd have died in hospital then, what would people remember me for? I decided I'm going to do whatever it is, whatever it takes to make a career in magic. You know, and I suppose that was probably the birth of Dynamo. Um, but I think my main thing, which is, you know, which I kind of decided when I was in hospital many years ago, before I had the operation, when I nearly died, that I wanted to, if I'd have died then, would people remember me? You know, I wanted to leave a legacy behind and for me the only way to leave a legacy was through magic. We also know for a fact that Dynamo is open to worshipping spirits, for he promotes and believes in voodoo. Voodoo involves the worship of spirits and elements of nature. Do you guys believe in voodoo? Dynamo. Yeah, no. Yes, no. Yeah? No, let, let go there. Hold it at the top. Like me, yeah? This is like voodoo, yeah? I'm going to take the glass that's smashed over there already. Watch. Just give it, give it a little shake, ring it like a bell. I'll stop. Dynamo, speaking of New Orleans, says, quote, I think it's one of the most amazing places I've ever been to. New Orleans is a very magical, mystical city. Voodoo has been a part of New Orleans for over two centuries. Dynamo's 2013 autobiography is called Nothing is Impossible. This is a picture of the book signed by Dynamo. Notice that Dynamo marks his signature directly on his forehead. The Bible says that those who are marked by the beast receive a mark on their right hand or forehead. This is a poster for a magician and circus performer from Alberta, Canada who calls himself a fire demon. His name is Doug Thompson and he usually refers to himself simply as Demon. In a world with billions of people, you pretty much have to set yourself on fire to get noticed. I am Demon Thompson. I perform in Circus of Hell. I put out a cutting torch with a flame temperature at 6,300 degrees Fahrenheit on my tongue. The sensation that I get from burning, it's hard for me to even realize that I'm on fire. If I don't actually feel my flesh or a part of me getting physically burnt, it's almost that it doesn't even exist. Okay, you ready? Yep. found in Circus of Hell, it was more of a natural progression of everything hellish that we we're doing. At some time in my very early childhood, when I first fell in love with fire, I spent a lot of my childhood alone. I was, uh, I was an orphan, and uh, you know, idle hands of the devil's playground, and we got along very well. All throughout my life, I've been, you could say, demonized. It's absolutely incredible. See you in hell. 
Demon show Circus of Hell has been featured at many events including the Special Olympics opening ceremonies and Scream Fest. Demon says his wife is a fire witch. Here we see that Demon's wife wears a witch's hat. Demon's wife admits that she is a witch. He's the demon and I'm the witch. It's a match made in hell. Here she is with horns on her head. Demon is also a professional welder. His welding channel is called Hell and Back. Here is how Demon introduces his welding videos. Hello once again, I'm your host Demon. Welcome to hell. Hi, I'm Demon and welcome to hell. Hi everybody, I'm Demon and welcome to hell. Hi, I'm Demon and welcome to hell. Hi everybody, I'm your host Demon and welcome to hell. Here Demon says, quote, I use this torch every day in my work as a welder, creating beautiful things out of iron and steel, and now I can put it out on my tongue. This is extremely dangerous. The volatile oxyacetylene gas could easily reignite and explode in my mouth, blowing up my head. The flame could severely burn my mouth, face, and lungs. Or I could inject a lethal air bubble into my tongue because the flame is pressurized and is able to burn underwater. This is no trick, this is real, don't try this. In 2015, Demon became the first person to extinguish a 6300 degree torch. Demon points out that when he's extinguishing the fire with his tongue, there is no protective gel to protect his tongue from the fire. In this video, Demon is set on fire and says, quote, see you in hell. The people laugh and someone says, quote, not if we see you first. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> not if we see you first. This is not video trickery. This is authentic fire eating. Here, Demon gives the double devil horns hand sign next to knocked over crosses. Demon says here, quote, use your demons to your advantage. Demon even put a tattoo of flames on his arm. Demon has a large tattoo of a skull with horns, which is similar to many magicians who feature skull imagery.